Hey, how is it going guys and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys my personal experience and tips in using the wide angle lens and telephoto lens in wedding photography. I'm going to share with you guys when and how I use them and how do I properly utilize those lenses. But before we start, my name is Ken. I'm a professional wedding photographer traveling all around the world to shoot wedding photos for my clients. So let's go. So when it comes to wide angle lens versus telephoto lens in wedding photography, usually the much preferred go-to lens is the telephoto lens. Simply because wedding involves a lot of portraits and as you guys know, shooting humans with wide angle lens is just a big no-no due to its ability to distort your images. But does that mean we can't use wide angle lens in wedding photography? Well to me, it's quite the opposite and let me explain why. For those of you who don't know, I'm a wedding photographer specializing in destination wedding portraits meaning I fly with my clients to their preferred destination around the world, for example, Italy or Paris, and shoot pre-wedding photos for them. And the main reason my clients pay an exclusive fee to have their photo shoot done in a foreign country is simply because of the exotic background the destination offers. And that means it is extremely important for me to capture my clients with them in the background of that particular destination. Imagine if I were to come back with mostly close-up or semi-close-up portraits for them. That would definitely defeat the purpose of them spending a fortune flying all the way to another country to have their portraits done. So, for the type of photography that I specialize in, a wide angle lens is definitely one of the most important equipment in my camera bag. And for this type of photography, which is a combination of portraits and also huge backgrounds, I call them landscape portraits. The wide angle lens is perfect if you want to capture landscape, architectures or interiors as the distortion it creates will often amplify the sense of space. Making small spaces big, big buildings huge and making huge buildings gigantic. And for me, it's just the perfect tool to emphasize the amazing background that a destination has to offer. But you are sure to be asking, doesn't the distortion of the lens affect the couple inside the photo as well? Well it does, and the distortion on the couple can be catastrophic to your photos. But if you use it smartly, you can avoid the distortion from reaching your couples. So how do you use them smartly? Well to me, I find it easy to avoid this problem and I'm gonna share with you guys two quick tips on how to properly shoot a landscape portrait. Tip number one, do not place your subject too close to your lens and if you understand how wide angle affects the perspective, you will know that placing your subject too close to your lens will make their bodies go crazily out of proportion. And tip number two, do not place your subject too close to the edge of the frame as it will stretch your subject out of proportion as well. Do also note that the more your subject is closer to the center of the frame, the safer and the less distortion they will be. If you keep these two rules in mind the next time you shoot a landscape portrait, I can guarantee you that your landscape portrait will be safe and free of distortions. Without needing to explain much, we all know that the telephoto lens are great for portraits simply because of its ability to compress perspective and a compressed perspective will have little to no distortion which is perfect for portraits. So it's no special case for me when I use the telephoto lens and my goal is the same as every portrait photographer out there that is to capture a perfectly proportioned face or body of my clients. For me, my usual go-to focal length is 50 to 70 mm with 50mm lenses being my favourite as its focal length is the closest to the human eye and simply because it's small enough for me to carry around my destination weddings. I will only use telephoto lens when shooting close-ups for my couples and I will always shoot at the lowest aperture possible to blur the background away and to focus only on my subject which is the total opposite compared to the landscape portrait. The aim here is to capture moments between my couples or beautiful close-up details of my couples when they are dressed in their wedding attire. So the background doesn't really matter in this case. So by combining both types of angles in my pre-wedding shoot, one being the landscape portrait and another being close-up portrait, I'll be sure to have varieties of photos for every of my clients. So in a nutshell, the wide angle lens in wedding photography is used to capture amazing backgrounds and to showcase the surroundings where the couple is in. But remember not to focus only on the background and neglect the couple in the shot. And the telephoto lens is used to capture close-ups or moments between the bride and groom with little to no background involved. But do keep in mind that different photographers will use those lens differently. What I share with you guys is based on my experience and how they fit in my style of work. 
it could be different for you and if you use them differently do share with everyone how you use those lenses in the comment section below all right so there you have it guys my personal experience in using the wide angle lens and the telephoto lens i hope you guys find this video helpful and please help me support my channel by hitting the like and subscribe button and also do follow me on my official instagram and facebook page for my updated works i'm ending this video here and as always my name is ken and i'll see you guys in the next one